we're back with another draft league. Woo! Uh, this is the FBL commissioned by Bishmi and Kiwi. Their links will be in the description. Alongside all 23 of the other fucking coaches. Thankfully, this was two pools of 12 person drafts. So our team isn't gonna be fucking garbage. Well, uh, well, well, the, the, our final team isn't gonna be fucking garbage. I mean, okay, the init this initial team isn't fucking garbage. Initially left by S Side of Brave, who we are replacing due to unfortunate circumstances. Good luck, S Side. But this initial team is not the thing I'm most comfortable with. The fastest mod is Iron Moth, so I don't force any prep with that. So Titan is just kind of here as a terror captain for some reason. I I mean I li I like some things about it. I mean I l I love screens with Iron Moth. That's really cool. Fucking Lando I. I hate Lando I. Yeah, like there's really not much I can say about this team that I like because I don't like it. I think it's bad for me. But not bad for us side because they left us with a two and one record, so you know we take those. We can pick. We can easily make it to playoffs by now. Like we play our week four today. We play our week five next week. Like we have plenty of time to get into playoffs. There's no. There's no biggie. No biggie. But yeah, we have Grim Snarl, Parting Shot, shit with uh, Terra Iron Moth, by the way. Which I think is fucking crazy and free Terra no preview. Like, that shit's insane. So, we're definitely keeping that part. Dondozo will not fucking betray us. There are no Willow Misses to miss. It, it, it's consistent. Dondozo is consistent. I hope. If there's gonna be another fucking traitor on this team... I, I don't know, I didn't keep most of these motherfuckers, okay? Like, <laughs> I've, I've, I've made it clear, I fucking hate this team. So what I did was get a bit shysty with the transactions. So, initially, I was planning on just sticking to the Annihilate, Hatterene, Sui and Decidueye, Terra Jolti on Dunsparce. But then I was like, fuck, I really hate Lando Y. I was looking at my future matchups, Lando I is kind of fucking dog shit, and I saw a 9 point star raptor on the board, which, you know, it's not, it's not the best Pokemon, but you know, I, I think it's pretty good, so I was just like, okay, give me that, let me take the Mudsdale, and give me fucking Colossal, and also cut the shit out, Colossal and Chestnut. With, so, you know, I think that's pretty good. You know, Colossal gives me a decent spinner. I, I should probably explain most of these, but I'll do that here on the final team. So, what I like about this team is Grimmsnarl is funny with Annihilate Rage Fist. That's about it, you know. You annihilate behind screens, you take hits, you power up your Rage Fist, and then you just fucking go ham. And then Terra Iron Moth behind screens, you set up an agility, you don't die in a couple hits, you you fish for Fiery Dance, special attack raises, and you hope you just fucking sweep everything. Dondozo, like, Don, I, I kept Dondozo because it's like the best bulky water on the board. Still, I didn't feel like it, I needed to replace it, and... Good fucking god, I did that. I need a consistent bulky water type. This motherfucker ain't missing hydros, this motherfucker ain't missing will-o'-wisps. It is just not allowing setup threats to become a problem. Magic Bounce Hatterene is the best removal on the board, and it's not even removal. <laughs> this is Paldea Dex. I, just, I need, I need just anything to prevent hazards from going up, and Hatterene is just kind of the perfect mod for that. But if we really, 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 really need removal, Colossal is there, I guess. Bronze on consistent steel type isn't beating fairy types offensively, but I have a, an iron fucking moth for that. So hopefully that isn't too much of a problem. Um, Star Raptor, good physical breaker, good scarfer, good bandit, good bandit mon, like. Every Pokemon on this team has a purpose. Chestnut is spikes. <laughs> um, but 
like I showed in the transactions page, Hisui and Decidueye was originally good. Like, we, we have Hisui and Decidueye, Lando, and Dunsparce for next, for, not next week, the week after that. <laughs> I made these transactions, like, days apart from each other, so it got very weird, very fast. So hopefully these slides make it a bit clearer to see, because when I say it out loud, it is very, very, very confusing. But that is the final team that we have for the FBL, which I like a lot. And with that said, let's finally move on to the actual fucking team builder. For week four, we are stuck with the initial team that I was left with. Fortunately for me, this matchup is actually pretty damn fucking good with the team that I have. So, the, we are fighting the Adelaide Ar Ar Archaeops, coached by Smurphy, and they have a pretty damn fucking nasty team. Free Terra King Gambit, Dragapult, Cleaver, fucking Florges. It, 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 it's a little bit insane, you know? But, we, I think we have the proper tools to beat it. So first off is this Diancy that is here for the fucking Dragapult. Pasho Berry, so we don't get Hydro Pumped. Uh, this, it doesn't get Steel Wing this gen, so it can't even do that. Stealth Rocks actually do really, really well versus this team. Like, Offensive Moltres does pretty damn good into me, except for the Diancy, so that's my main check for that. Uh, Baton Pass is good, just to have a good pivot. Power Gem hits pretty much everything in this team alongside Moonblast. Like, Diancy's just pretty damn fucking good here at just setting up rocks, pivoting, being a good check to Moltres, and power firing off Moonblasts that are here for Dragapult. Like, this Diancy's basically only here for Dragapult and Moltres, two pretty big threats to my team. So, you know, that's pretty good. The biggest problems for Diancy, though, are King Gambit and Mudsdale, just because, you know, funny, funny stab move, kill Diancy. <laughs> Heavy slam, potentially, from Mudsdale, too. But, honestly, like, generally, this team, I, it doesn't have that many Steel-type options to Oko me. So, I think I'm probably gonna be leading off with this Diancy. Unless some weird shit happens, you know? Next off is our Landorus with Life Orb, you know, just Life Orb Sheer Force, four attacks, hits a bunch of shit, it's a wall breaker, that's probably not gonna do shit because I hate Lando, fuck Lando. But yeah, investment is just to outspeed, I believe, Rotom? I think? Or is it... Oh, Moltres. Moltres. I'm dumb. <laughs> it's it's for Moltres. <laughs> um... But yeah, funny Sheer Force, Life Orb, Earth Power just kind of destroys this team. Only real thing that, that checks it are like Cresselia and Polt, and both of them I can just U-turn on. Well, not Polt, but I, I have a dedicated two pretty damn good Polt checks. So I think being outsped and revenge killed by Dragapult isn't too big of a problem for this Pokemon. But yeah, there's not really much to say. It's just funny, funny click button Pokemon. That's not gonna do shit. Dondozo is here as a dedicated King Gambit and Cleaver check because I have no switch-ins to either of them <laughs> otherwise. Because uh, Bronzong sure as hell is not taking a plus two sharpness X scissor and I have no other King Gambit check. <laughs> So hopefully Don Doza does the job. The only reason I don't have body press for the Gambit is because I know that motherfucker is going to be expecting it. So I'm just going to liquidation on its ass and hopefully we're good. Now, if it's Terra Dark Choice Band Kowtow Cleave, I genuinely think I lose. <laughs> that is the only set that can do a KO Don Max HP Max Fizz Death Don Dozo. I think. I, I actually don't know. Oh, if it's a Supreme Overlord. Wait, I forgot that existed. Wait, hopefully, oh, hopefully we're fine. <laughs> this is this is not a good King Gambit check, but it's my best King Gambit check. And Cleaver is there too. Heavy Duty Boots is here so that 
set of stone axe from cleaver that I'm gonna be switching into is not too big of a problem, and if the quag decides to be a spike set, I don't get worn down by that too, and there's no removal on this fucking team, so my best option is to just go with the heavy duty. Next up is Iron Moth, which is the cleaner of the team basically, you know, booster energy, spec to be uh, speed raising on the cork drive, so I outspeed Dragapult, substitute is here so that King Gambit, Sucker Punch, Mind Games aren't a problem, and yeah, just Fiery Dance, Sludge Wave, Deepling pretty much hits this entire team. It's here to outspeed Dragapult, it's here to be a cleaner, it's here to break floor just potentially, because uh, I don't have good breakers for floor just otherwise, but Cresselia for this whole team really is a fucking problem, especially if it Terra's, but if it does Terra, that means King Gambit isn't gonna Terra. So if I, if I am able to force that thing to Terra, then that's always just going to be a good situation. But yeah, there's not much to say about this set, really. Axorus is here to be set up, set up shit for Quagsire, because Quagsire is actually kind of a problem for the team if it decides to hazard stack. So instead of just sitting around there and letting it get the spikes up, I come in with my Haxorus, I D-dance, Mold Breaker, which goes through unaware, and I start clicking buttons against the whole team. This is mainly here to just break early on in the game, hopefully lure the Cresselia into tearing into Fairy, because I do think it's going to be Terra Fairy into this matchup. You know, Terra Fairy, and then I just fucking Iron Head it, and just dies, you know. Best case scenario, this just 6 0s on lead. <laughs> or not on lead, but like, it 6 0s as soon as Quagsire comes in is the best case scenario. But yeah, just Max Adamant, Dragon Claw at plus 1, it's gonna be doing hefty, hefty damage. And last but not least is the enabler for all of these sweepers, Grim Snarl with Taunt, Reflect, Light Screen, and Spirit Break. Um, this is a switch into Pulp. Not a good one, but if Dianzi dies, this is like my last ditch effort, and, you know, Reflect Light Screen, you know, sets up for the moth, sets up for the Haxorus, Taunt is here, so the Cresselia can't keep setting up on me, and Spirit Break is here to hit Dragapult, basically. Yeah, there's not much to say about this team, I'm not gonna lie, did not spend a lot of time on this fucking prep. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna go into this week with this team that I feel really bad with, and just hope for the best. And that's exactly what I'm doing. You guys will see how that went in 3, 2, 1. Okay, 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 or am I on? Am I on? I can't- Okay, it's telling me I'm recording. I'm hoping my ass is recording. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I- I almost was not recording my mic, mic audio. That would have been tragic. Anyway... Holy shit, we're back with a Wi-Fi battle and, uh, this matchup sucks ass. I'm just gonna leave Lando. Cause, like, they have no Lando switches. Oh shit, they brought the Komala. I just saw that they brought the Komala. Oh fuck. But yeah, two, two Terra Caps are the first ones. Two Terra Caps, Quagsire, Moltres. Yeah, that's basically what I thought would be something. Shit, I need to get my show down, shit. Uh, There we go, I need to mark all of this down. So yeah, they brought the fucking... They leave with Quagsire? Perfect. 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 Shit, what the fuck was that? Anyway, uh... Uh... I'm on- I- I don't... Don't stop. Fuck, that almost killed. Oh. Nando sucks, dude. Nando sucks ass. Who drafts this fucking Pokemon? This Pokemon is so bad. This Pokemon's so ass, bro. <laughs> anyway, let's not be from just saying 
Do I start trying to set up? Like, yeah, what stops me? I mean, I don't want them to just... No, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, you should die. Say you're at 70. You are definitely the best class. I earned from how much you can get though. But you should still be dying. I'm max out of it. Yeah. Oh, that could suck. Did that matter? I hope it didn't. Sorry if that. Sorry if that could matter. My calc is being fucking weird because my PC sucks ass. So I'm being a minute. I am recording, I am recording. <laughs> I'm just I'm just making sure that I'm recording. <laughs> oh, that might have mattered actually. Oops. Oops. Wait, no, that did that did matter. Wait. Oops. That that did matter. That's what I thought. Cresselia? Oh, they're just screaming out the window. I do think you're gonna be Terra Fairy. If you're bringing this in on me. Or if you're gonna be Terra. Stop shot. This should not be much. Yeah. I think you're a reading for Dragon Claw, honestly. If you're not gonna Terra, then that means you're not Terra Fairy. So you're gonna die. Yeah. Okay. Hatcher kills Cresselia. Nice, nice. Holy shit! Wait. They have nothing for this shit. What the fuck? Wait, you have a King Gambit. Yeah, there's a King Gambit. Now, am I in range of the sub -punch? Let's just say you're max out of this. Uh, shit, what was the Sucker Punch, I'm not in range for Sucker Punch at all. So I'm just gonna rip your ass. If you care, I can up. I don't think you're gonna be Terra Flying, so this like should still be good. You're a ghost. Okay. I wonder what that is. Shadow Claw. Wait, that killed me. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, no. I mean, I don't, I don't care if that was a range. Like, that wouldn't have killed me because it's the same house as the Sucker Punch, but like, I literally don't care. Because that means you're. Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, that's just like, that means Crest, Crest is gone, Wag is gone, like, let me see, check, check target, like, like, yeah, I didn't really need the answers for anything, honestly. Like, I, I have that answer for more tricks. This game that shares is just like, Wait, I just realized we didn't have a bag of holes. Hey! 
the big, the big mountain of the dragon balls. Uh, yeah, they did win the dragon ball. They got the goodbye eye. What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm always gonna. Sunny day! Wait, do I die to a solar beam? <laughs> do, do I die to like a max boss solar beam? At level 50, max boss solar Solar Beam still does not KO me, and Power Gem is a roll and puts you in the bottom range. And that's if you're maxing- oh wait, no, you should not. Yep, okay. Yeah, thank you, Diancy. My go. Life Orb! Oh shit. Wait, was that a roll? Life Orb, Solar Beam- no, okay, that was guaranteed to a KO. Nice. Cool!
the fuck is this set? Crash Kamala. <laughs> Why no Dragapult, though? Like, what the fuck? I mean, I know I have a Diancy, but like, still, holy shit. And a Grimstar, and I, I, I guess I get it. But like, still, what the fuck? Oh, I'm so sad that I'm losing Haxorus. Haxorus did work this game, but like... There are some transactions waiting at the end of this, because like... The team that I inherited was not the best. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong. It has a Terramon, Lando Eye. I just don't like. I don't know, I'll probably just like. Y'all will see what I think fully in depth in the intro, I hope. If I'm not, if I'm not a lazy ass motherfucker and you know what I'm Oh, that's still, that feels good though. First dub. That was a really hard matchup too, like I was really scared of that Marcelia. Alright, well, that's gonna be it. Bye bye.